I'm Steve Waller and I'm the Dean of the College of Agricultural Sciences and Natural Resources and uh, on behalf of the faculty and staff and our students we'd like to welcome you to the 21st Salute to Graduates. Uh, this is a very special day for us and I know it's a very special day for you as well. Uh, it's going to be a wonderful afternoon and tomorrow will be commencement. Uh, you'll celebrate that tomorrow night. We'll celebrate a national championship and it'll be a wonderful weekend. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd love to beat Texas for so many reasons. Um, we have an announcement on cell phones. Um, those of you that have a cell phone, um, you can turn it on silent or vibrate. Uh, some events will tell you to turn it off, but you're not at just any event, you're at our event. So if you want to update your Facebook status while you're watching, listening, uh, feel free to do so. Um, just make sure you identify that you're at the best college event you've seen ever, and it's Kasner. Um, you can tweet. Um, I understand you could Snapchat. Uh, I have no idea what that is, but if you know, uh, have at it. And there's Instagram out there now. Um, I'm just fascinated by the technology. Uh, so cell phones are fine, pictures are fine, enjoy it, this is your event, uh, and we're just pleased to have you here. The event was um, developed by the college and its alumni association in the Institute of Agriculture and Natural Resources. And boy, before I forget, I want to let you know that um, the uh, vice chancellor of the institute, Dr. Ronnie Green, who is a Harlan Vice Chancellor and NU Vice President, uh, has made a tradition of uh, presenting at this event. And he currently also serves as the interim senior Vice Chancellor and is doing a, a graduate ceremony. So uh, Ronnie sends his um, best wishes to the class and to the families. Uh, and we do have the Associate Vice Chancellor for the Institute, Dr. Ron Yoder, joining us to represent the uh, Institute. So we're very pleased that this sponsorship is college in the Alumni Association and the Institute. When we created the program, we had um, three things that we wanted to uh, accomplish. And the first was to have an opportunity to say to the families and the students, thank you. Thank you for choosing the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Thank you for choosing our college. To the parents, thank you for sharing your student with us. Uh, it's been a remarkable time from our perspective. Um, the students that you sent to us have enriched our campus community by their presence and uh, have made us better. And hopefully we have helped them uh, become what they will be. The, uh, the journey has been remarkable. And if, if you remember NSC, the parents that are in here that might have gone through NSC, we talked at the beginning of this journey that it would go fast. And I'm sure some of you are sitting there thinking, my gosh, here we are and they're graduating. It's okay to smile. It's okay to just be proud as punch because they've done it. And it happened uh, in a, a very short period of time, as you might think regarding the time that you were just here with NSC. We will now and forever be part of their educational pedigree. They'll be graduates of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, graduates of this college, uh, and uh, that means they're a graduate of a Big Ten institution and one of the premier colleges of agricultural sciences and natural resources uh, anywhere. So this is a special day, not only for them, but for us as we add them to our alumni list. So thank you for sharing them. Uh, we are, uh, honored to have had them. Another purpose for the event was just this. We wanted to have something that would allow the, the parents, families, and friends of our students to celebrate what has uh, been accomplished. Your students have uh, had a significant achievement and we wanted it to be memorable and special and we wanted it to be personal. Tomorrow you'll have an opportunity, I hope, to go through commencement, watch the commencement. Uh, it really is uh, a spectacular event. But this is intended to be a little more personal so that uh, you get to share uh, your students' success uh, in a, a, 
a more intimate setting. Uh, that's why we have you sitting so close together. Um, but we think this is the way uh, we want you to remember um, the education of your son or daughter. So that's part of it. The, the accomplishment is one that warrants uh, this kind of attention and, and personal touch. So as you observe the event, uh, hopefully you'll get to have some memories created that may not be able elsewhere because of the, the way we do it and the way our students will engage. This is a very interactive uh, event. And then finally, uh, the third reason was we wanted our students to have an opportunity, we'll call them students today, graduates tomorrow, um, to have the opportunity to share with you uh, their experience. So we'll get to uh, learn a little bit about what they will remember or value from their college uh, days with us, but more importantly, you'll get to hear what they're going to do. And as everyone comes across the stage and uh, they have provided information that will be read as they walk across the stage, you'll learn that these students are touching the world uh, with what they're going to do and what they've been doing while they've been students. It's, uh, it's a very impressive set of uh, graduates. We're so pleased that they're part of uh, our alumni base. And with that, I'd like to introduce the Associate Dean, Dr. Tiffany Hang Moss, who will provide an overview of the class of, the December class of 2015 as our introduction to our salute to our graduates. Well, this is different. I have to raise the microphone one time, so. There you go. Well, good afternoon uh, to the graduates and to their families. I want to extend my sincere congratulations to each and every one of you. Today is truly a day of celebrating achievement. And it's not only a very special day for the graduates and their families, but it's also very special for the faculty and staff in this college. And that's because as these graduates entered our college, we got to know them on an individual basis. We've also had the opportunity to help them discover their unique talents and strengths, as well as witnessing firsthand their development as professionals and leaders. So as we were preparing for the salute ceremony today, I started reflecting back on what was going on in 1994. And 1994 has some meaning because this is likely when many of our graduates were born. And so I did a little bit of searching on the web and found that the um, internet giant Yahoo was started in that year, as well as email started to emerge as a common form of communication. In addition, and this was news to me, Text messaging actually was created back at that point in time, but it wasn't as widely adopted as what it is today. You could purchase a gallon of gas for just over a dollar. You could go to the movies for $4 a person, and the average price of a vehicle was just over $12,000. The first genetically engineered tomato was available in the United States, and major discoveries were being made in the medical field, including the discovery of an antiviral drug that prevented the HIV from reproducing in the body. So significant things were taking place. And many of these advances are the result of my generation and that of my parents. So what I'm most excited about is looking forward to the future and seeing where we end up. If we look where we are today, in 2015, all you really need to do is take a look at your smartphone. If you take a look at your smartphone, it's a good representation of where we're at. Our smartphones today have the computing power that is more advanced than what we had on the Apollo space capsule. In addition to that, we've sequenced the human genome. Um, we have more than one million car owners worldwide of electrical cars. Um, we have, again, amazing discoveries related to diseases. And we also have the first self-regulating heart, artificial heart, that is. And so again, exciting things taking place. But where will we be 20 years from now? As we recognize the different graduates today, you're going to have the opportunity to hear how truly talented this group of individuals are. And they have very diverse career interests. Those career interests range from food security to wildlife biology to natural resources to environmental studies to forensic science biotechnology, mechanization and engineering, to agribusiness, economics, entrepreneurship, 
as well as areas such as communication, leadership, and education. As diverse as their career interests are, so are their experiences and achievements that they've had since they've been here at the University of Nebraska. For example, many of our students have had the opportunity to travel to other parts of the world to experience a different culture and learn about their discipline through the lens of that particular location. Some have had the opportunity to participate in our campus research. And in fact, some of them can even be Googled. And so you can Google them, and because they are an author on a scholarly publication, their name will appear. Still others have taken their time and their talent, and they've invested that in community engagement. And then many have had experiential learning opportunities and internships that have prepared them to be career ready. That's okay. We'll pretend like we didn't hear that. So it works just well, right? So despite these differences that all of our um, graduates have, there are some common elements that all the Kasner graduates possess. And that is that their degrees are grounded in the sciences and the application of science to solve problems. So as we recognize as a society, we do face some challenges. One of the big challenges is how are we going to feed a growing population while preserving our natural resources for future Future generations. We also need to figure out this terrorism and violence that's occurring in our nation, as well as economic stability and climate change. Some are pessimistic about these challenges. I, on the other hand, and I think many of my colleagues, were very optimistic, and that is because we're betting on these graduates. We're betting on them to be the difference makers, the problem solvers, the leaders, and the innovators of the future. It's also reassuring to me to know that the land grant system, which established the university back in 1869 is still very relevant today to our youth, to our state, and to our world. We like to say that every time a Kasner student graduates, there's a new difference maker that's going to have an impact on this world. So again, I'd like to congratulate the graduates and their families, and now we're going to move on to the part of the program in which we actually get to meet some of these students and learn about their significant achievements since they've been here. So as each graduate walks across the stage, they will be greeted by Dean Waller, as well as Steve Kaiser, who is the president of the Kasner Alumni Association and a representative from their specific degree program. So if those individuals would please come to the stage now. The first degree programs that we are going to be recognizing are agribusiness and agricultural economics. And they will be also congratulated by Dr. Larry Van Tassel, who's the department head of the Department of Ec Agricultural Economics. Claire Anderson is from Ashland, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agribusiness. Claire will be working as a farm financial assistant at Nebraska Farm Business Incorporated. Claire's greatest educational experiences were being involved in many organizations on campus, meeting new people, and broadening her learning skills. Garth Brown is from Lincoln, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agribusiness. Garth will be working for Washington County Bank as an ag credit an analysis in Blair, Nebraska. Garth's greatest accomplishments were being accepted into two honor societies and graduating in just three and a half years. Amber Bernheide is from Howells, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Economics. Amber will be training in risk management within commodity marketing for Cargill Ag Horizons in Sioux City, Iowa, and further developing her business, ABC Chickens. Amber's greatest educational experience was working with peers as a teaching assistant in entrepreneurship business finance. Juliana Chapik is from Geneva, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agribusiness. Juliana will be working as a financial advisor for Waddell and Reed in Geneva, Nebraska. Juliana's greatest educational experience was being a part of the Nebraska Bankers Association program, which allowed her to make lifelong connections while gaining experience in the banking industry. Michael Castle is from Shackleford, Missouri, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Economics. Michael will be completing his Master of Science degree in the Department of Agricultural Economics here at UNL. Michael's greatest accomplishments were publishing undergraduate research through the UCARE program and participating in the Master Scholars program. Julie Hagman is from Howells, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agribusiness. Julie will be working part-time while completing the interview process for a full-time position. Julie's greatest accomplishments were working on East Campus and making lifelong friends. Kevin Holland is from Junietta, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agribusiness. Kevin will be beginning his career as an ag lender for Heritage Bank in Aurora, Nebraska. Kevin's greatest accomplishment was never failing any of Dr. Hansen's exams. <laughs> 
Wyatt Kane is from McCook, Nebraska, is receiving a bachelor of science degree in agricultural economics. Wyatt will be working as a missionary for a focus stationed at the University of North Texas. Wyatt's greatest educational experience was his involvement in the Alpha Gamma Rho fraternity and the UNL Human Center. Jared Kenobi is from Imperial, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agribusiness. Jared will be working as a certified financial advisor with Waddell and Reed. Jared's greatest educational experience was being involved with the Angler Agribusiness Entrepreneurship Program and Alpha Gamma Rho fraternity. Mary Crickemeyer is from West Point, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agribusiness. Mary will be pursuing a career in ag lending. Mary's greatest educational experience was completing her ag lending internship at Citizen State Bank this summer. Mark Lundin is from Minden, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agricultural economics. Mark will be returning home to expand his corn and soybean farming operation while selling seed corn and soybeans for producers hybrids. Mark's greatest accomplishment was developing lifelong relationships that have influenced his faith, career path, and passion for the ag industry. Justin McCullough is from Broken Bow, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agribusiness. Justin will be returning to the family ranch and seeking an active role in serving the community. Justin's greatest accomplishments were creating relationships that will last a lifetime and preparing himself for life outside of college. Justin Minchow is from Waverly, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agribusiness. Justin is seeking employment in an agriculture finance related field while helping part time on the family farm. Justin's greatest educational experience was participating in community service events with his fraternity. Log Logan Owens. Logan Owens is from Carroll, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Economics. Logan will be working on the family farm. Logan's greatest educational experience was networking with students who have agricultural backgrounds. Jennifer Rasmus is from West Point, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agribusiness. Jennifer will be working for Hogemeyer Hybrids. Jennifer's greatest accomplishments were making lifelong friends and being on the Dean's List. Whitney Walters is from Shickley, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agribusiness. Whitney will be working with Heartland Farm Partners in Lincoln, as well as remaining involved with the family farm operation. Whitney's greatest accomplishment was graduating in three and a half years. Austin Zimmerman is from Elmwood, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agribusiness. Austin is currently seeking employment after graduation. Austin's greatest accomplishment was graduating from UNL in less than four years. Congratulations to all of our graduates in the Department of Agricultural Economics. Congratulations. All right, we will next be recognizing students that will be graduating with degrees in agricultural education, as well as agricultural and environmental sciences communication. Dr. Malk, Dr. Oh my goodness me, Dr. Mark Balswide, <laughs> department head with agricultural leadership, education, and communication, and yes, that is a mouthful to say, um, will be representing these two degree programs. Cassie Campbell is from Wilton, Connecticut, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Education. <laughs> Casey will be teaching preschool at Imagination Station in Omaha. Her greatest educational experience was gaining lifelong friends and mentors over the past four and a half years. She is especially th grateful for the guidance of Dr. Ron Hansen, Dr. Gina Madkin, and Julie Obermeyer. Hope Hemby is from Fremont, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural and Environmental Sciences Communications. Hope will be working as a social media manager for black tie and white satin in Fremont, Nebraska. Hope's greatest educational experience was working with all of the great students and faculty in Kasner. Alex Mashino is from Spencer, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Education. Alex will be working full-time for Vibaic, an educational consulting and learning solutions team. Alex's greatest educational experience was being a part of the leadership team and making connections through the Engler Agribusiness Entrepreneurship Program. Catherine Rip is from Ravenna, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agricultural Education. Catherine will be starting her career in agriculture sales at Sandhills Publishing. Catherine's greatest experiences were her amazing internship and professional networking opportunities. Congratulations to all of our students in the AgLEC programs. All right, next we will recognize students that will be graduating with degrees in agronomy, horticulture, plant biology, turf and landscape management. And today, congratulating those recipients will be Dr. Rock Goswa, who's the department head of agronomy and horticulture. 
Justin Kamilka is from David City, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agronomy. After graduation, Justin will be farming. Justin's greatest accomplishment was obtaining a degree in Agronomy that he will use the rest of his life. Kevin Coles is from El Songo, California, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agronomy. Kevin will be entering the workforce as a farm manager. Kevin's greatest accomplishments were finding a real passion for working with farmers and learning about the future of American agriculture. Chris Grams is from Upland, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agronomy. Chris will be working for a Pioneer Seed representative. Chris's greatest accomplishment was winning the Engler three-day startup with a fantastic team. Brent Janish is from Maynard, Minnesota, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agronomy. Brent will be pursuing a graduate degree in agronomy at Kansas State University. Brent's greatest accomplishment was graduating from UNL, UNL in three and a half years. Gregory Jeffrey is from Lincoln, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in horticulture. Gregory will continue to work for his dad after graduation and starting his own hop farm. Gregory's greatest accomplishments were realizing how much he has matured compared to when he started college and seeing everyone's smiling faces as he walks across the stage today. <laughs> Melinda Knuth is from Hartford, right. South Dakota, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in horticulture. Melinda will be working for Walt Disney World in edible landscapes and pursuing an MBA. Melinda's greatest accomplishments were being successful in her field of choice, getting two internships through Walt Disney World Company, and completing a major and a minor in three and a half years. Rock and roll. I just need to take a break and let you know that they're not as tall as they look next, when they stand next to me. There's actually a riser in the middle of the stage. <laughs> <laughs> and Tiffany's wearing heels. <laughs> we have an award that we give. Uh, this will be our second time. And it's called the Kasner Spirit Award. And you'll find it in your program. Uh, and it's intended to identify a student that represents the spirit of the college. And uh, as we honor this student, we pay tribute to all of our students in this uh, graduating class. And this year, in December, we wanted to honor Mel Knuth. So this is our Spirit Award recipient. You heard uh, a bit about what she's doing, but what you haven't heard uh, is a lot about what she gave to us and to the university and gave back to her community and to the people that uh, have supported her. She's been a remarkable student for our college and uh, has been involved in um, more organizations than we could mention. Has also been a Kasner ambassador, has also been an East Campus uh, host. Um, has been the kind of student that would come and help us whenever we needed it. Uh, just so giving. And to us, that is the spirit of the college. And we wanted to recognize Mel and uh, let you know that uh, she will be going to Disney World. And in my mind, she's leaving one magic kingdom to go to another. Um, <laughs> She's going to work in edible landscapes. I worked with livestock. I thought I had that one covered. But she's in edible landscapes. Uh, we are so pleased. And uh, this fall at uh, the alumni reunion, uh, we will be dedicating a, a brick in our legacy courtyard in honor of Mel and her contributions. And please remember, she's representing the entire class with uh, her accomplishments and achievements. So let's give Mel a round of applause. these years we'll get him a stool. <laughs> I'm glad Dean Waller's taking the brunt of the show. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing with our graduates, Jacob Mingyong is from Boris South Sudan, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agronomy. Jacob will be working for, with farmers in Nebraska as well as assisting orphans and widows in South Sudan with basic education, clean water, mosquito nets, and agricultural training. Jacob's greatest accomplishments were completing an internship in Ethiopia and being involved through Save South Sudanese Orphans and Widows Agronomy Club and Sigma Alpha Lambda. 
Andrew Method is from Decatur, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Andrew will be moving to North Carolina to work with Bear Crop Science as a Sales Excellence Associate. Andrew's greatest educational experience was working with kids in flag football at the Special Olympics every year. Elizabeth Niebaum is from Blair, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in plant biology. Elizabeth will be traveling to Europe, then attending graduate school next fall. Elizabeth's greatest educational experience was working with Dr. Munson, which allowed her to attend and present a poster at the Synergy and Science Partnering for Solutions annual meeting in Minneapolis. Dale Ostrander is from Decatur, Illinois, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in turf grass and landscape management. Dale is seeking employment as an assistant superintendent on a golf course. Dale's greatest educational experiences were traveling overseas to the United Kingdom and touring different golf courses in western Nebraska for his turf grass capstone course. John Parrish is from Douglas, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. John will be attending graduate school at UNL. John's greatest educational experience was working on Project Sense as a research technician with all of the university personnel. Alex Payton is from Gothenburg, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in agronomy. Alex will be working for a crop consultant in Pleasanton, Nebraska, and starting his own consulting firm near the Kearney and Gothenburg areas. Alex's greatest accomplishment was finishing college after two deployments, which took three semesters each and making the dean's list. Emily's... Emily Stein is from Valley Center, California, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in turf grass and landscape management. Emily will be completing in the Doctor of Plant Health program at UNL and further developing her passion for horticulture. Emily's greatest educational experience was experiencing horticulture on another continent while studying abroad in Australia and Tanzania. Nelson Wright is from Lincoln, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in horticulture. Nelson will be working for tailored landscaping after graduation. Nelson's greatest accomplishment was improving his design skills. Congratulations to all of our graduates in agronomy and horticulture. All right, the next degree program will be animal science and Dr. Larry Berger, department head of animal science will be representing this degree program. Wes Albert is from Arthur, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Wes will be doing ranch work on the Broken Bow Ranch near Cody, Nebraska. Wes's greatest educational experiences were seeing the beef industry from several angles while visiting a feedlot with Dr. Erickson and a ranch for his livestock management class with Dr. Schock and Dr. Rasby. Kyra Baldwin is from Mitchell, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science and in Grazing Livestock Systems. Kyra will be completing the Associates Program for Farm Credit Services to become a financial officer. Kyra's greatest accomplishment was making it through four and a half years of college to earn a double major a double minor and successfully eliminating normal sleeping patterns. <laughs> Clayton Bowles is from Maryville, Missouri, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Clayton will be working as a cattle buyer with American Foods Group. Clayton's greatest accomplishment was being involved with various judging teams. Kelly Campbell is from Homer Glen, Illinois, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Kelly will be rehabilitating behaviorally changed, challenged dogs with Found Chicago in Illinois, as well as attending graduate school focused on animal reproduction. Kelly's greatest accomplishment was becoming a certified cattle artificial inseminator. Delilah Schott is from St. Edward, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Delilah will be working on her parents' farm after graduation. Delilah's greatest accomplishment was meeting so many awesome people along the way. Nicholas Zarnick is from Genoa, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Nicholas will be heading home to work on the family farm and ranch. Nicholas's greatest educational experience was being able to meet new people and explore new opportunities. Cole Geyser is from Myrna, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Cole will be returning to the family farm and ranch while growing his own cow-calf operation. Cole's greatest accomplishments are making great connections that will last him a lifetime and attaining knowledge that will help him excel in the future. Donald Lunkwitz is from Maxwell, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Donald will be returning home to work on the family's diversified farming operation. Donald's greatest accomplishment was maintaining focus and determination to complete his degree program and two minors while being a non-traditional student. 
Ashley McCoy is from Arapaho, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Ashley will be attending graduate school for Animal Science, Meat Science, and Muscle Biology. Ashley's greatest educational experiences were participating on the Meat Science Quiz Bowl team and Meat Judging team, being a block and bridle ambassador, and working with graduate students as an undergraduate research assistant. Dane Miller is from Columbus, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Dane will be working as a statewide independent pharmaceutical salesman with Nebraska's beef producers for Rainforth Animal Health in West Point, Nebraska. Dane's greatest educational experience was getting lifelong friendships, experiences, and skills while on the livestock judging team. Kellen Sodoff is from Napanee, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Kellen will be working for the UNL Dairy Research Unit. Kellen's greatest accomplishments were having the opportunity to work for the Dairy Research Unit as an undergraduate and continuing to work there after graduation and passing trigonometry. <laughs> Kelly Schnorr is from Skip Scribner, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science and in Agricultural Journalism. Kelly is currently seeking employment within the agriculture industry while continuing to help with the family row crop and cattle operation. Kelly's greatest educational experiences were completing the Nebraska Beef Industry Scholars Program and making valuable friends within agriculture-related fields. Amanda Stratman is from West Point, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Amanda will be pursuing a profession in agriculture to work with animal pharmaceuticals. Amanda's greatest educational experience was learning about what happens to livestock after descent to market on the Meat Industries Tour with Dr. Jones. Brittany Tistammer is from Omaha, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Brittany will be participating in an internship in Kentucky working with thoroughbred racehorses. Brittany's greatest accomplishment was juggling her time between the equestrian team, horse judging team, and full-time student responsibilities. Curtis Watovic is from Fullerton, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. Curtis will be returning home to help expand and improve the family cattle operation while building a herd of his own. Curtis's greatest accomplishment was graduating as a top senior in the animal science class, gaining leadership skills, and expanding his network. Congratulations to all of our graduates and the animal science programs. All right, next we will be recognizing students receiving a degree in applied science. Clint Dammy is from Talmadge, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Science. Clint will be working full-time as a crop adjuster for ADM Crop Risk Services. Clint's greatest educational experience was seeing what agriculture is like in another country and meeting lots of people while studying abroad in Argentina. Justin Oxner is from Hastings, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Applied Science. Justin will be turning home to the family farm. Justin's greatest accomplishment was making many friendships over the past four and a half years. Congratulations to all of our graduates in applied science. We will now recognize our graduate from biochemistry. Aubrey Schmidt is from Omaha, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in biochemistry. Aubrey will continue to write scientific marketing content for LICOR Biosciences. Aubrey's greatest accomplishment was learning how to communicate scientific concepts. Congratulations, Aubrey. All right, next we'll be recognizing students graduating with a degree in mechanized systems management. And Dr. Mark Riley, Department Head of Biological Systems Engineering, is now joining us on the stage to congratulate the graduates. Travis Glosson is from Humphrey, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in mechanized systems management. Travis will be working with Peterson Ag in Norfolk, Nebraska. Travis's greatest accomplishment was leading the effort to design and build a 34 gooseneck trailer used by the university's quarter scale tractor team. Latham Fulner is from Wisner, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanized Systems Management. Latham will be working as an operations trainee with Bartlett Grain Company in Missouri. Latham's greatest accomplishment was meeting students and faculty who are passionate about the future of agriculture. Landon Rhodes is from Exeter, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanized Systems Management. Landon will be pursuing a career with Lindsay Fieldnet as a Tier 2 Technical Support Specialist. Landon's greatest accomplishment was being elected for an executive position in Alpha Gamma Sigma fraternity, where he made a lasting impact and met many new friends. Mark, 
Marcus Sandberg is from Hay Springs, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanized Systems Management. Marcus is returning home to join the family farm and ranch operation. Marcus's greatest accomplishment was graduating in three and a half years with a minor in agronomy. Levi Schlick is from Fairfield, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanized Systems Management. Levi will be pursuing opportunities in the agribusiness field. Levi's greatest accomplishments are making friends that will last a lifetime and having great opportunities and experiences. Alex Teton is from Talmadge, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanized Systems Management. Alex will be returning to the family farm after graduation. Alex's greatest educational experience was learning a variety of new ideas that he wouldn't have been exposed to without attending the university. Jeremy Vanosik is from Holdridge, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanized Systems Management. Jeremy will be working for Noser Farms near Elwood, Nebraska, and on a crop and livestock production. Jeremy's greatest accomplishment is being on this stage today. <laughs> <laughs> Connor Wise is from Wasilla, Alaska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanized Systems Management. Connor will be pursuing a career as a project manager in commercial construction. Connor's greatest accomplishment was coming from Alaska and meeting many lifelong friends while gaining professional knowledge and skills at the university. Daniel Willer is from Lawton, Iowa, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Mechanized Systems Management. Daniel will be returning to the family farm to incorporate his education to promote sustainable agriculture. Daniel's greatest accomplishment was combining experiences and material from all of his classes to understand the complexity of the agriculture system. Congratulations to all of our graduates in the Biological Systems Engineering Department. Congratulations. Dr. Walt Schock will be representing the Center for Grassland Studies and joining the stage to congratulate students graduating with a degree in grazing livestock systems. Sydney Gill McKay is from Erickson, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in grazing livestock systems and in animal science. Sydney will be working in the office at Herd Company Feedlot in Erickson, Nebraska. Sydney's greatest accomplishment was being named the 2014 Outstanding Livestock Judger. Lance Johnson is from Upland, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in grazing livestock systems. Lance will be returning to the family cow-calf operation and expanding his own herd. Lance's greatest educational experience was identifying grasses, doing range surveys, and determining stocking rates for his capstone course trip to Halsey, Nebraska. Congratulations to our graduates in the Grazing Livestock Systems Program. All right, we will next recognize students that will be graduating with a degree in environmental studies. Dr. Dave Goslin, Director of Environmental Studies, will be representing this degree program. Matthew O'Neill is from Lincoln, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Studies and in Fisheries and Wildlife. Matthew will be pursuing a career in Natural Resource Management. Matthew's greatest educational experiences were his internship with Farmers National Company and taking a class at Cedar Point Biological Station. Congratulations, Matthew. Thank you. Thank you. All right, next we will recognize students receiving a degree in forensic science. Adam Dozel is from Lexington, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Forensic Science. Adam will be working as a line supervisor with Silverhawk Aviation while seeking employment as a crime scene investigator. Adam's greatest accomplishments were serving as the president of the UNL Tractor Restoration Club and meeting great faculty and friends. Sierra Tooley is from Omaha, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Forensic Science. Sierra is seeking employment while volunteering regularly to make an impact on the community. Sierra's greatest educational experience was experiencing a mock crime scene and trial in her capstone course and being able to apply the skills learned. Congratulations to our graduates in forensic science. Next, we will recognize students with degrees in environmental restoration science, fisheries and wildlife, and water science. Dr. John Carroll, director of the School of Natural Resources, will be joining the stage party to congratulate the graduates. Ken Garrison is from Omaha, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Water Science. Ken is currently seeking employment at an environmental agency. Ken's greatest educational experience was seeing all of the experts work in their field. 
David Henderson is from Alliance, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in fisheries and wildlife. Day is working for the UNL Poultry Department as a part-time technician while volunteering at the Lincoln Children's Zoo. David's greatest educational experience was studying abroad in Namibia, Africa with Dr. Larkin Powell. Lindsay McBay is from Crystal Lake, Illinois, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in fisheries and wildlife. Lindsay will be working as a zookeeper and volunteering to rehabilitate sea lions in California. Lindsay's greatest educational experience was studying in Hawaii for a semester where she got hands-on experience working with marine mammals. Jordan Nichols is from Tacoma, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in fisheries and wildlife. Jordan will continue to work at his current job while searching for employment opportunities. Jordan's greatest educational experience was traveling to Puerto Rico over spring break for his topical island ecosystems class to gain hands-on learning. Nathan Schultz is from Octavia, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Environmental Restoration Science. Nathan will be working with the United States Geological Survey as a hydrological technician. Nathan's greatest accomplishment was using his knowledge gained from the activities at UNL to land his internship with the U.S. Geological Survey. Jeffrey Snowden is from Omaha, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Fisheries and Wildlife. Jeffrey will be assisting in wildlife research as a technician to determine a future area of study for graduate school. Jeffrey's greatest educational experience was spending three weeks at Cedar Point Biological Station for their Field Animal Behavior course. Congratulations to our graduates in the School of Natural Resources. Congratulations. All right, so finally, we recognize our graduate in veterinary science. Dr. Don Reynolds, director of the School of Veterinary Medicine and Biomedical Sciences, will be representing this degree program. Lisa Berghardt is from Craig, Nebraska, is receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in veterinary science. Lisa will be pursuing a career in management, human relations, or liaison in an agriculture-related field. Lisa's greatest accomplishment was being selected for an internship with Seaboard Foods. Congratulations, Lisa. All right, again, my name is Steve Kaiser, and I am the current president of the Kasner Alumni Association. And before I begin, I would like to recognize my fellow college alumni board member who is here to honor our graduate as well, Bump Krager. And on behalf of the entire board and the association, congratulations. And welcome to the Kasner alumni family. It is my pleasure and honor to celebrate your accomplishment on this day. And remember what you've done, and know that you are well prepared for the future with an excellent education from Kasner. Just a short five years ago, uh, I was actually in your seats, and I remember uh, graduating and starting my job, and because of Kasner, I was ready, and I was able to immediately impact our business um, thanks to my college experiences. Kasner's academic rigor and opportunities for involvement are phenomenal, as you've heard from everyone's examples today. And, but just don't take my word for it. Um, you will know or soon find out when you get into the workplace. And now that you're part of the Kasner alumni family, um, you can ask each of the 23,000 that have graduated um, and are continuing to make an impact around the world. And now you might be asking yourself, well, Steve, how do I reconnect with those graduates? And the answer is simple, through the Kasner Alumni Association. For me, it has been one of the best ways to stay connected and at the same time give back to the college um, that has afforded me so many great opportunities. Meeting alumni, making new friends from a wide range of years and backgrounds is invaluable. Uh, I'm also extremely proud to be part of an organization that has contributed over $45,000 in scholarships to Kasner students. And I'm sure even some of you in this room have received uh, a scholarship from us. And at the Kasner Alumni Association, our mission is simple. 
It's to enhance and cultivate the relationship of all Kasner peoples, be it prospective, current, and of course our alumni and friends of the college. We do several events throughout the year to promote our mission, and we hope that you consider joining. Helping recognize each of you, as I get to do today, is just one of the fun activities that we get to be a part of with the group. And if you have any questions about it, um, Bump and I will be up here after the ceremony. Feel free to stop by, ask us any questions. But again, from your Kasner Alumni Association, congratulations. You are well prepared for the challenges and adventures that lie ahead, and we wish you the very best with all your future endeavors. And now I'll hand it back over to Dean Waller. <clears throat> After the uh, commencement tomorrow, we will have 23,034 alums. Uh, about 148 will graduate uh, tomorrow from our college. You've seen, I think, 77 walk across the stage. Uh, since we've started this event, we've had over 8,000 uh, people in the audience enjoy uh, the walk of 1,700 students. So. This truly is a tradition we will continue to do because we do think it's, it's a nice way for us as the college community to say thank you to all of you and to our students. Tomorrow at commencement, they'll all be wearing a cap and gown and uh, remarkably, they all look alike from where you'll be sitting. So you got to see them today. And uh, I can tell you that if a firm handshake is confidence, these kids are really confident. So my hand hurts. <laughs> and we're working on trying to get shorter students, at least for the next little while. It's, it's amazing what these uh, young people are able to do. And uh, I hope you get a sense of how much we enjoy having them and how much we get to uh, enjoy knowing them. Uh, you've provided us some wonderful, wonderful students. We've got some things to follow up uh, as we conclude. One is I'd like for you to, when you have a chance, go through the program. Uh, there are people in there that uh, are listed in the program that have made this event possible uh, and made every effort for it to be a very special event for you. Uh, there is a list of students that have been uh, recognized for their uh, academics uh, and with highest distinction and uh, high distinction and distinction. Uh, those in the Honors Program, those that were in the Moral Scholar Program, those that were in the Engler Program, uh, all of our students uh, have made tremendous contributions, as we said, but there are a set that we always uh, highlight in the program, and we'd like for you to uh, take a moment when you can uh, to go through the program. For those of you um, parents, uh, we've tried to put together a program that you can keep. Uh, and uh, we'll give you another bit of advice on how to keep it in just a second, but hopefully you can keep it. Um, the students got to fill out an exit survey. Uh, we did it online, because we're in the 21st century. So they did it online, and uh, because they often need a little incentive, you've probably learned this at home, uh, to complete some things, we would uh, provide a $100 gift card. Uh, on a random drawing. So the 76 or seven that walked across the stage were in the drawing. So Alex Teton, a mechanized systems management uh, student, now has a $100 gift card. So for his family, I think he can buy dinner tonight. Uh, it may be all you get back on this is dinner tonight. And we're very happy to be able to help him uh, pay forward a bit. And he doesn't know it, so if you can tell him, I'm sure we'll be able to uh, make sure he gets his gift card. Uh, it's a visa. He can, he can take you to dinner. Um, Gerald Horst was the person down here. Gerald, stand up. Wave to the crowd. They saw your back, but not you. Our photographer. Uh, this is a very special place. Gerald is a professor emeritus out of horticulture. Drives back uh, with uh, Karen every commencement. December and May from the Sand Hills to do this. Been, has been doing it 
since he's been on the faculty. Uh, and that says a lot about the relationship our faculty have while they're here as well as when they leave. They're still connected uh, to your students. The Horticulture Club, which is what Gerald um, used to be in and work with, provided the point set as it, you see up here. Family photographs. If you want to take advantage of the people that are here from the family as well as uh, how nice the students look, feel free to use the backdrop. Uh, we often have families come up and take pictures. It's perfectly fine uh, to do that. In fact, we'd encourage it because uh, if you haven't got your Christmas cards out yet, it's a nice photo <laughs> to say congratulations, what a happy year it's been. Um, each student will get a video of uh, the college dreams. Uh, some of you in, in the audience will recognize the name. Uh, those of you that don't, well, we will declare a generation gap. But Dick Cavett um, narrates it, and the students will move right through it because it's longer than five minutes, and they'll, uh, they'll move on. Uh, but for the parents and others that uh, have an interest in the college and its history, it is a very uh, nice DVD that they've gotten that will provide an overview of the beginning of the college and then, as you can see today, the evolution to what it's become as one of the major land grants uh, in the country. The students took a class photo while we were in here, uh, and we will have that uh, over in our office. Uh, they've signed the border, and uh, we've started that as part of our tradition, too which uh, we get to walk by your students every day. And if you're on campus at some point in time and want to come by the office to look at the photo, we'd love for you to stop by. Uh, our, our doors are all, always, always open. There are flowers in the back. Uh, the intent was that the students could give their mother or grandmother, special person in their life, a flower um, to say thank you. Uh, flowers with programs pressed uh, in a family album or Bible is a nice way to remember the event. For the students that have parents here as well as special people in their lives, um, may the force be with you. We have one flower. Uh, <laughs> choose wisely. We do have extras if you need them, but uh, we want you to enjoy it. Tomorrow, we have the senior send off. Uh, and in the morning at Pinnacle Bank Arena at 7.30, uh, the club lounge is open up on the second floor uh, of Pinnacle Bank Arena. We'll likely be the only college there at 7.30. This is Ag, so we'll be there. Uh, they don't open the doors until 7.30, so pace yourself, because it could be a little chilly, but at 7.30, they'll open the doors. The senior send-off is just to come and go. There is no program. Uh, it's just an opportunity for our parents and families to get settled in uh, at the Pinnacle Bank Arena to get ready for commencement. It's a very nice way to ensure your student actually got up on time and made it to commencement, uh, which is how I used it with our youngest daughter. It worked well. Uh, we do know at this point that we're the last college uh, to go through. Uh, so uh, patience is a virtue in this. There will be colleges ahead of us. Um, but you can certainly enjoy the lounge, uh, coffee and donuts and fruit, uh, and just visit with each other. And uh, then your student will go down about 8.30 to get ready for commencement. You can go down later. You'll have an opportunity to continue to visit while they're getting ready downstairs. And, and then we'll uh, have a wonderful commencement. The um, Opportunity that this has provided for us is uh, once again one we look forward to every single graduation. It's much like you because uh, we're happy to see them be successful. Uh, we'll miss them uh, just like you uh, will miss them when they get into their uh, career path. But you'll be proud of what they do. I can guarantee it. Uh, and. In closing, your student is never too old to hug and say, we're proud of you, because we are, and we share your pride in them. And with that, we'll say happy holidays and safe travels for, the, for those of you that are traveling, 
we hope to see as many of you as we can tomorrow at the senior send-off. So thank you for sharing your students with us and thank you for being here today.